Hey guys! Um, so I'm really excited today because I have a new um, subscription box. Uh, kind of like how, I'm sorry my dog is just going crazy. Um, kind of like Birchbox and My Glam and um, all those other subscriptions. But this one is really interesting because it's all about food. So it is the Love With Food box. Um, this is how it comes. My husband tried to open it when uh, he took it out of the mail, but I wouldn't let him because I told him that I needed to show you guys how it came packaged. And I don't really like how it, uh, how it comes packaged because it's very... I feel like it's just really easy to uh, to rip open and um, and it's clear so people can see what it is, what's in it, and um, I'm not saying people are going to take it, but they might. <laughs> so um, I did have problems with this. Uh, this is my first box, so I don't know um, what to expect with it. Um, but I, I have heard great things. I did have problems with the shipping, though. My my dog is really interested. Um, my tracking wasn't updating. It didn't update at all. I, th I think it updated once um, when it first shipped, and then it didn't update at all. So uh, I didn't know I was going to get my box, and I didn't know when I was going to get my box. And uh, everyone else got their boxes before me. So now, um, if I do like things out of here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to buy them. Because what you can do, um, the items in here you can buy from their their actual site. And uh, I think you get them for cheaper or something like that. And so you can only buy them until they're sold out though. So I'm hoping that if I like things in here um, and I want to purchase them, that they won't all be sold out considering I'm, I got my box so late. But it's just my first box, so... Um, I'm not going to really let that determine whether I keep buying boxes from them. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll wait till my next box to see how the shipping is with that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to open it. So, what this is, is um, Love With Food. That is, uh, it says, discover great food for a great cause. So, let's see in here. This is what it looks like when you open it. And I've never gotten a food subscription box, so I was really, really excited. Um, and it's a lot of food that, like, you don't normally get to try. Like, you... A lot of the things I've seen, like, in other boxes, like, I haven't seen in stores. So, um, it's really, really cool. And then it says, um, one box, one meal. You donated a meal. You made a difference. We love you. Um, so for every box that you get um, each month, they donate a meal to someone in need, uh, which I think is really, really good. That kind of uh, pays for the box for me. I mean, I think that's a really good reason to get this box, let alone just the fact that like it's really cool and you get to try new things. So... So let's see, this is the card that comes with, that comes with, um, so this is the, ha the Valentine's Day one, so it says Happy Valentine's Day, and then it shows you everything on the back, and I think it tells you a little bit about each thing that you get, so, so I guess I'm just going to show you, uh, what's in it, and maybe we'll go from top to bottom from the card, I'll find everything in here. So the first thing is... Milk chocolate peanut butter truffle piglet. Um, let's see. From Hoggins, Hoggensburg. Chocolates? I think that's what this is. Um, so it's like, it's just a little uh, chocolate truffle with peanut butter in it. So that should be interesting. I'm excited to try that. Um, let's see what's the next thing. Naturally flavored cranberries from Funny Face. Um, freckle-faced strawberry. 50% less sugar, only 50 calories. 
That's interesting. So I guess they're cranberries that are flavored like strawberries. That's really, really cool. I'm excited to try those. Uh, let's see. What is this? I'll just, I'll just take things out of the box as we go. Um, tomato basil green tea infused sipping broth. Um, let's see, does this say anything on it? First of its kind, sipping broth is a blend of savory herbs and spices infused with loose leaf green tea. This is, <laughs> um, this is going to be a little interesting. Uh, tomato basil green tea. Um, oh, it smells good. I'm thinking it's going to be more like a, uh, like a broth. Like, um, you know, like when I'm sick, uh, I drink like the bouillon cube broth. You put it in the water. I'm thinking it's going to be something like that. It actually smells really good. I'm surprised. Um, I think this is going to be surprising for me. I think I'm actually going to like this. Um, it's just different. So it will uh, be interesting to see how, how this turns out. It says, excellent in the afternoon or evening. Just steep one tea bag in eight ounces of hot water for two minutes. Leave bag in, stir, and enjoy. Ingredients, tomato, carrot, celery seed, onion, garlic, basil, sea salt, green tea, and yeast extract. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, this is just one, one tea bag in it, one cup. Maybe I'll try that today. Um, actually, I have to try these things sooner than later so I know if I want to buy them. Oh, here's another truffle pig. This one is milk caramel. Caramel caramel. I don't know how you say it. Let's see, nectar honey crystals. So there's two of these. Um, enjoy the sweetness of all natural honey anytime, any place without a, a sticky mess. So this is um, this is really interesting. I love honey and uh, in teas and stuff like that, um, but not every place has honey. When you go to like coffee shops and stuff and you don't want to bring like a thing of like sticky honey with you so these would be perfect to um to get a box of and just carry around in your purse so the sweetness is equivalent to one teaspoon of liquid honey that's awesome i think i'm gonna really like those let's see here um this is a little um chocolate madeleines from Don Sumor. Don Sumor? I don't know how you say that. Um, I think it's like a cookie. Creamy, moist French tea cakes with a distinct, distinctively whimsical shell shape. So this is, um, this is interesting. I will have to see how I like these with my tea. Ah. Uh, Jur Squares Savor Premium Chocolate with All Natural Valencia Peanut Butter. So it's like a, a peanut butter chocolate square. All natural though. Oh, and it's mixed with crunchy rice crisp covered in milk chocolate. I'm really going to like this because I like the, uh, the crispy uh, rice things. Bobby Sue's Nuts. Delicious nuts with a mission. So... Where are these? A salty, sweet trifecta of dry roasted almonds, cashews, and pecans coated with a delicate meringue and warm blends of spices. These are probably going to be awesome. And then it says a portion of every nut dollar goes towards building a shelter for homeless animals. So that's really, really cool. I really love when you can buy something and portions of the money that is spent on the products um, goes to a, a charity or a cause, a good cause. So that's awesome. I think I'm really gonna like these. Um, I'm gonna have to save this stuff for tonight to share with my husband because he'll get mad. 
And then the last thing in here is these um, Pico de Gallo bean and rice chips from Beanfields. Yes, Beanfields. Um, long grain rice, navy and pinto beans join forces for a gluten-free chip with miles of zesty flavor and one-third less fat than other tortilla chips. I think I'm going to love these. Um, I love Pico de Gallo like crazy and I've been looking for a healthier chip to eat. Um, and also my uh, sister-in-law, my husband's sister, um, she just found out that she is gluten-free, so she um, she has a gluten allergy, so she needs gluten-free things. So I will have to let her know how these are. Um, I know they have different flavors, like they have nacho ones and stuff like that, so that's really, really cool. So I'm excited. So, so far, um, my first box, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm gonna have to try everything inside and let you guys know, oops, um, what I liked and what I didn't like. Um, I don't think there's gonna be, I think the only thing that may be a little bit iffy in here is this sipping broth, but it smells really, really good, so it might just be get, um, something to get used to drinking something savory, um, rather than something sweet. But it smells really, really good, actually. So, um, so yeah, that is my box, and I'm actually very happy with it. The shipping, like I said, uh, there was a little trouble with my tracking number, and um, I did get my box a little late, a little later than I had would have expected to get it, considering you have to buy these things before they sell out if you like them. Um, so it's kind of a bummer for me. I'm hoping that my next box will come sooner than this one did, but. Um, but yeah, so I will let you guys know, um, how I'm liking these boxes. Um, hopefully I'll do one, uh, every month as I get them. Um, I did sign up for the goodies box. That is another food subscription box, but I don't think I'm getting my first box until March. Um, because they, they're like limited quantities. The goodies box, this one you can sign up at any time. You don't need an invite. The goodies box, you have to sign up for an invite and then they invite you and then you can subscribe because they're they're limited quantities. So I'm gonna see which one, which box I like better. I might like both of them the same and keep both of them or I might like one better and just keep one. But so far this is really good. So um, and if you notice in here, everything in here is like, there's like a lot of natural stuff and um, a lot of stuff that's better for you. So that's another reason why I wanted to, excuse me, try out these boxes because, um, yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit healthier and a little bit more conscious about what I eat. So it's a really nice way to just try things very, um, in small quantities. You know, if you don't like something, it's not a big commitment. Um, so yeah. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, just comment and I will answer you. Bye.